Lister, and this is my senior art program. I've done art all four years at King, and I'm going to receive the, the art and design distinction in May. So these are two pieces of art from when I was younger. You can see that even before I knew what my theme was or how I wanted to define it, I always had an interest in color, identity, and abstract art. My theme is, my art uses color and aesthetically pleasing shapes or designs to explore the conversations and interactions between people, as well as the formation of an identity and the implications of ownership and occupation of space. This is my family photo album in abstracted form. As the household I grew up in was starting to change, I created this piece to try and understand for myself and from my own perspective what was happening. These are pieces from a summer visual art program where through a lot of experimentation, I discovered what I wanted my theme to be. The sculptures in this piece are representative of people in conversation. The designs inside the heads showcase their personalities. They can be pushed together, spread apart, or clustered in groups. LED lights wrap around the heads to show trains of thought, words, or ideas being shared. And here, I decided that I wanted to continue exploring conversations or interactions, but in a more literal or realistic way. I started by painting these five portraits, and then I arranged them in a corner of my house in order to create the conversation. I chose this location because the multiple planes of the walls allowed the viewer to imagine a conversation between these people more clearly than if they were all hung flat on one wall, like I showed before. Anyone who stands in front of the series can act as the final chain link to bring the series together. I did this piece during quarantine and it's called Blue Moods. Feeling isolated inside my house really solidified my feelings of detachment at the time and inspired me to make this. There are five lonely figures, each painted on canvas paper that was inserted into the backside of canvases, which I really enjoyed as it is an extremely non-traditional way of using a canvas. These are photos that really show you the structure of the piece. This is a sister piece to Blue Moods called The Positive Space. The title plays on my use of negative space in Blue Moods and the differing bright oranges against the pale blues. I use the same technique of putting canvas paper inside the back of the canvas. This project is titled Don't Eat It, and the idea for it came to me while I was babysitting, because upon inspecting the refrigerator of this family, I realized how foreign their perfectly normal food felt to me, and then how personal our refrigerators can be, given the items inside them. I decided to construct an entire refrigerator out of foods I would create. Most of the objects were sculpted out of clay and then painted with acrylic paint. All the th things you see in here have specific hidden meaning to me, making this my refrigerator. In a way, it's a self-portrait through food. These are more details. And this is an old photo of my dog inspecting the fake food. <laughs> These are some pages from my sketchbook. And this piece is called Woman in Flame. In the collage, we're expressing what it means to identify as a woman and the empowerment we feel. The concept is a continuation of my studies of human identity and about how identifying as a woman is a part of a person's identity. This piece is called Angles of Perception and it centers around the idea of the multiple layers of someone's personality or the many different perceptions you might have about one person. This is a self-portrait titled Me that I did a part, as a part of my, the identity aspect of my theme. It's a life-size piece, so the canvas it's on measures about four feet by seven feet. One of the fun things about doing this project was climbing up and down a ladder to paint different parts of it. And this next piece is called Living in a Fishbowl, COVID-19. The idea, which I'm sure we can all relate to in one way or another, is about feeling sheltered from the rest of the world during the pandemic. The idea is that the goldfish swim around in their bowls all day and are never subjected to any of the realities of life outside of their environment. The fish bowls can be seen as both a protective layer but also a barrier. While the fish are safe, they're unable to experience some of the realities of life. I still, I still feel as if I'm one of these fish. These are some of my still life oil paintings. This one's a triptych, so it was painted on three different canvases. This is another one. This is the final one. And so this is my theme 
At the beginning of this year, I found that the style of my theme had changed. Even though the content was the same, instead of using vibrant colors and visually appealing shape to designs, I wanted to create more 3D art that focused on simplicity and natural materials. This is the first piece of my new theme. It is a steel sculpture that I cut and welded at King. I created this sculpture in order to convey a family dynamic and process my feelings about the house I grew up in. Ideally, this piece would be large enough so people could walk through it and really experience the shapes and negative spaces I've created here. This is a piece of work from an artist called Richard Serra, who was a huge influence on me for this project. Ideally, my steel sculpture would be large as his pieces are, which you can see from the people walking around them. And this is a photo of me creating this sculpture that I thought was cool. This piece is called Fragmented, and it's definitely the most personal piece I've ever created. Overall, it's about feeling like a person in pieces and the progression to the person I am today. All three sculptures remain in their original states as a tribute to the process of preparing myself. Instead of putting the pieces back together, I acknowledge the pain that I once felt. This is my final and most recent piece titled 806 Miles. It's about feeling emotionally close or connected to someone but physically far away. As I end this presentation, I want to say thank you to all of you for listening to our presentations because even though this might seem like a long or tiring event, it means the world to us and our artwork means the world to us. So thank you. So thank you. Next year, I'll be majoring in fine arts and getting a Bachelor of Fine Arts from USC.